everyone and um today we're going to be looking at probably one of my favorite video games update 1.3 hello zookeepers we're pleased to reveal update 1.3 coming to planet zoo 25th of august 2020 so in four days it says that we're going to get animal color variation which is what I'm most excited for, although I think it doesn't count because that's the first thing that was revealed, I think. In addition to color morph genetics, your, your existing zoo animals carry existing genetic information for both color and pattern. So I think that means that the, the animals in your zoo before the update will, will get the colors too, I think. Information apply to colour variation on top of the animal's existing textures it allows for subtle and gradual changes in colour between different animals. It says that they won't add it to exhibit animals because because the environment wouldn't would you know um, it's so dense it would be harder to distinguish minor variation at a distance. Highly saturated and very distinct colours and patterns it would be. So it's a additional colour morphs. As you can see up there, they've got the variations from the um, saltwater crocodile, which I think look really nice. It looks really nice. Um, because we've got like a little blue, um, bluish grey there. We've got the green, they've got the dark green colour. That's just really dark across there. You know, it's really good. Animal food management. With what food grades the animals are given. And you can see the protected food cost for the year. How many zookeepers are assigned to look after your animals in a habitat. How much time has passed since getting your animals last fed? Whether your animals are hungry or not. The total cost per year of feeding of all your animals. The number of keepers in the zoo. The total number of keepers assigned to habitats. And the total number of keepers not assigned to habitats. So new sandbox map, a brand new landscape set in a location to be revealed soon with new terrain texture, surroundings and sky. Now later we're going to be looking at the DLC and I'm actually going to make a few videos on it making a park out of the DLC. So um, I, I it says time scenarios. With this update, we're adding a free time scenario in Estonia. Make sure you check it out. Time, time tasking with, with completing objectives against the clock, awarding bronze, silver, and gold medals based on how long it takes for you to complete a scenario. We'll be providing you with a list of objectives, but unlike career scenarios, these objectives must be maintained. Once they're achieved, or they will not, or they will become incomplete again. Vending machines. These are really good. We had these in Planet Coaster, which is like actually year it mentioned it there. It's basically Planet Zoo, but instead of like zoo, it's it's just it's just a theme park. Vending machines have been heavily requested, so we're introducing them to Planet Zoo. Yeah! Those workers are a cheap alternative for you guests to help satisfy their needs. But it's important to note that food and, and drink from vending machines don't satisfy as much as an item from a shop. They require power to work, work, so make sure you place them around power sources. Our veteran planet players, ah, we know what to call the franchise now, should know. 
that the placement of vending machines differs to plant coaster. They are the plants are there placed like a path there extra, like a bench or a bin. I know what they mean. But not like a shop with a path connection. There's multi selecting up I, Unfortunately it says that we can't like hire them at once because that's annoying. Well, a variety of new features. Website, I don't know what the features are. I think it's those. Oh, I just found out that those are the features. These are the features because they've got the smaller text on it. You'll now be able to dismiss zoo alerts using a trash can icon. Scenery like toggle. You now have the ability to turn on or off scenery lights all the time instead of them just going automatically at night. Lights not work without power unless they're solar powered. We're thrilled to bring you additional creativity with new scenery assets. Foliage includes plants and smaller sapling trees to complement their larger cousins. While rallying three new paths and three rocks have been made to complement our new biome talk about. Update one point three will be paired with bug fixes, you know, just that. But you know, you'll get the full list of update notes when it goes live on twenty fifth of August. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at this. The DLC Australia pack. In line with the game's prior DLC packs, this one will cost nine pound ninety nine. Actually, that's nine dollar. Oh, sorry. Britain is very different to America. It's arriving on the same day as a free update. In this case, one point three update. You know what? I, you know, just this. one of the coolest features in the pattern is alternative colors on patterns. To help. We already talked about this. We're talking about this. Kangaroo. Got a kangaroo. Says the koala, dingo, solid cassowary, and eastern blue tongue lizard. Choose your beast. Cassowaries are intimidating and their eggs are a wild shade of green, so that's my pick. So, yeah, we're gonna have cassowaries in this one. And with that said, I hope to see you in a few days when this update comes out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. Bye bye.